With all of the negativity surrounding BF5 in the past few weeks, it's actually really good to have some positivity as we head into the holidays. We've already had the great news that the TTK has been reverted, which I'm sure the majority of the playbase is happy with. But we've also been given a couple of early Christmas presents in the form of two new guns, the Ribe Roll 1918 and the M1897 shotgun. Ribe Roll, Ribeye Steak, Ribena, Roly Poly, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to go with Ribe Roll. I've asked French people, how do I pronounce this? And they don't even know. So I'm just going to go with Ribe Roll for now, okay? Deal with it. Before we get into the nitty gritty, the details of these two new guns, let's quickly talk about what's coming up this week. Thursday, of course, will be the start of the next weekly assignments in Tides of War. And I'm starting to look forward to these now. This one focuses on vehicles and classes. If you complete it within a week, you will gain the Seb Slider, another familiar weapon. The assignment goes up until December 26th, so with Christmas Day coming up, players are either going to have lots of time on their hands to play, or not much time because of family commitments. I recommend getting in there early and getting this one done. Also coming this week is a blog on airlifts, visual customization and the Battlefield weekly stream and a Reddit AMA. As of this video right now, the TTK is back to the launch values and there is no longer a Conquest Core playlist in the game, no confusion anymore, so enjoy your Christmas gaming. So what about these new weapons then? How do I get them? Where are they? Do I need to pay company coin for them or something? Well, nope, DICE has given us this little early Christmas present for free. If you load up the game and head into your armory, you should be able to see them there and claim them. They're going to be yours. So unlike the weekly weapon assignments, you get these straight away. No need to work towards them or spend any company coin to unlock them. Once claimed, it's available for you to use straight away, so fill your boots. Also a heads up, if you missed out on the VGO assignment, you can now purchase that gun for only 1700 company coin. That's a lot less than I was expecting, to be fair. Now then, the Ribe Roll. This has quickly become one of my favorite guns in the game. Those of you who played a lot of BF1 will of course know what this gun is. It was an assault weapon and a pretty good one at that. And the weapon remains as assault in BF5 too. It joins the STG, the Sturmgewehr 1.5, the 1907 as a fourth assault rifle. Before I get too in depth with how it feels and operates, let's just talk specs for a second. It's got a rate of fire of 540 and you can fire it in either full auto or single fire. Spoiler though, just use full auto. It's got a 25 round magazine, so it's got less available bullets than the Sturmgewehr 1.5 or the SCG, but of course more than the 1907. On paper, when specced out, this gun has better accuracy and control than any of the other assault rifles, and that absolutely shows and you can feel that when you use it. That being said, on paper, it doesn't really count for that much and you really need to get a feel for the gun for itself. And after playing some time with it, it's very, very good. I'm not sure the assault class actually needed another good assault rifle though, but as I mentioned, it doesn't fire all that fast. In fact, 540 is pretty middle of the park when it comes to weapons in BF5, but what it lacks in rate of fire, it more than makes up for this with accuracy, and this gun is extremely accurate. Now the TTK has been reverted, it also means that you can drop people with this gun pretty easily. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that it doesn't have that much recoil either. When I first used it, I didn't notice any huge, difficult horizontal recoil to control and definitely not much vertical recoil that stopped me from taking out people with full auto at medium range. On console, it might be a bit more difficult, but up close, it's very strong because the hip fire isn't too shabby. And if you land headshots up close with this gun, it just drops people. Not a lot of people realize this too, but you also gain a ton of accuracy with weapons if you crouch when you fire. So give it a go with one of the assault rifles. It's an interesting way to play. Now this gun could be a good example of how accurate a gun can be when you're crouched, but I think a better example is something like the STG. So go full auto when standing, check out what the recoil and accuracy is like, and then crouch, do the same, and I think you're really gonna notice the difference. Interestingly, the Ribe Roll also has a bipod just like the BF1 version. I'll be honest, it's not really something that I'm going to use all that much on an assault weapon because I tend to be moving around too much, but it's useful to have, I suppose, if you're defending a point on, let's say, breakthrough or front lines. That being said, you're so accurate anyway that it doesn't really feel that necessary to have it. It is there by default though, so you may as well make use of it from time to time. Amazingly, you can put a 3 times scope on this thing too, much like with the STG, and it can be used just as good here. Of course, you do lose some of the ability to track enemies up close, but you can add some ability there without scope to take out enemies at longer ranges. 
So what about specializations on this beast, the skill tree? Well, I've stuck with a tried and tested setup, really. If you've watched any of my other weapon videos, I do tend to lean towards accuracy and ADS speed. The first option is either improved ADS speed or improved speed when switching weapons, so I opted for the ADS improvement, and then I went for improved accuracy in aimed fire while moving, 10% faster bullets to help hit targets more efficiently at range and ones that are moving, and then for the last specialization I drifted back over to the left hand side for the improved movement speed while aiming. I felt that it didn't really need the improved accuracy while stationary. But overall I have to admit this gun is a blast to use. I don't want to speak too soon because I've only used it for a short amount of time since it was made available but I think a little bit more recoil wouldn't be a bad idea with this gun. There's a case for the medic class to get a bit more love as well right now because it's probably the worst class in terms of overall balance and if you remember the early test of the game the Gewehr 43 was originally on medic but then DICE made it SMGs only and the Gewehr moved to assault so I do wonder if medic would be in a better position with some longer range weapon options. Even if that wasn't the case I do think medic needs to be looked at on an individual weapon base. Right before the TTK was changed, there was a small buff to make the medic class a bit stronger. It wasn't a big one and I'd argue a lot of people couldn't tell the difference, but I think there was a small improvement with the medic class. Of course, then the TTK change came into effect and the medic class was then somewhat ruined again, but without being reverted now, it should be in a much better place than it was. Even still, I think that DICE need to look at medics more than any other class. Some people will absolutely love the medic class, but I think most players would agree that it still needs some love. If you moved one of the assault class semi-auto rifles across to medic, I don't think that would solve the overall issues with the class. Right now I'd say that the Suomi and the Thompson are two of the best weapons, obviously, but what the class needs is a tweak so that all of the weapons have their own place in that class. You don't want the medic SMGs to be dropping people left, right and centre at medium range, but you do want them to be strong up close because that's their purpose, I suppose. Hopefully now the weapon values are back to how they were, DICE can work on improving the class balance overall and giving the medics a bit more love. Because if people aren't playing as medic, then health packs aren't being dropped, bandages aren't being thrown, and the only people that will be reviving you are those in your squad. And that can be a very frustrating experience sometimes. I've been in conquest matches where there's only two medics per team, and if you're playing in a squad with people you don't know and aren't really communicating with, you don't get revived that often at all. So I think maybe giving medics maybe one or two semi-auto rifle options could make a big difference to this because people really need some incentive to play medic on those big maps like Hamada, Panzerstorm, maybe even something like Aras and Twisted Steel. Sometimes you don't often see medics on those. But I do hope that DICE can do something about this. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, the Ribe Roll is not the only gun we're going to get over the Christmas period. We've also now got the M1897 shotgun. Players had already found references to this gun in the game because if you go to your profile, awards, dog tags, there was actually a dog tag for this weapon already in the game at the bottom. And this particular shotgun is a hip firing monster. I tended to use hip fire for every example really. It doesn't fire as fast as the 12G automatic though and it's only got a 100 rounds per minute rate of fire but that can be upgraded to 120 in the specializations. Shotguns aren't really my thing unless they come in the form of my beloved M30 drilling. That gun is just so much fun to use but in terms of specializations for the 1897 I opted for improved ADS speed and then a heavier buckshot, improved penetration pellets and finally the rate of fire increase because who wants the bayonet? So wrapping things up guys, both of these new weapons being added into the game is a nice surprise and a welcome one. Was it planned all along or is DICE throwing it in now because of all the TTK drama that's going on recently? Honestly, I don't care, it doesn't even matter, I think it's awesome that we're getting regular guns and content drops like this and it's one of the things that's possible with this new live service model that we have in place. DICE seem to be able to tweak certain weapon values without even having a patch and we can possibly get new weapons, maps, vehicles at any point down the line when they're either available or make sense to add from DICE's perspective. So we no longer have to wait for specific DLC launch packs to get new content and I think that's a good thing. I'm really enjoying these more regular updates and weekly assignments and I hope they continue. I personally would love to see more maps though and more game modes because there's a couple in the base game that I'm not really fond of. Thiel and Hamada are the two main culprits and Panzerstorm the first extra map, well, it's not for me. I'll play the other six until the cows come home though, but I think the sooner the game gets new maps in new environments, the better. Americans, Russians, Japanese, come on dice, you can do it, I believe in you. 
And that's all for today, folks. I hope you're having a great week so far. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit that bell, and I'll see you in the next one.